So, Alan, if homeowners want to have a fire in their house, there's a lot of options out there. You've got the real fireplace, burning wood. You've got gas. We've got uh, pellets. We've even got electric. Looks like you've got a little bit of everything here. Yes, yes. We can satisfy all needs, it looks like, yes. All right, yep. so you are the guy to ask our questions to. Um, if we've got a traditional fireplace, burning real wood with the chimney going through the roof, what do we need to be thinking about? Well, we have very little efficiency. It's only about 15% efficient when we're burning wood in a traditional fireplace. Mm -hmm. Which is really low compared to if we have a boiler in the basement or a furnace. Correct. So does that mean that we're not using these anymore for any heating of the house? It's just all about ambiance? Correct. Right. Really? Yeah. It is not a heat source, if you will. It's only 15% efficient. All right. Well, there's nothing like a real fire. Um, no, no. But it does come with some work. You've got the heat loss, but you've also had to bring the wood in. You've got the ash left over at the end. Can I not burn wood, um, use my real chimney? You can, yes. There's a gas log system. Then so, so what would that be? That's not a real log, right? It's not a real log. It's a ceramic log with a gas burner below it. Uh, it just gives you that nice natural fire look. So ambiance without the cleanup. Correct, right. Okay, but still and woefully inefficient. Woefully inefficient, correct. Right. Yeah, because yeah. we have a flue wide open at that point. Right. Yeah. What if I want to make this efficient? We go with an insert in that case. All right. Here is a gas insert. And this gas insert is this hot box that would slide into your existing opening. Mm -hmm. And then we would run two liners from the, this box all the way up to the top of the chimney. And this has got a piece of glass here. So this is, this is sealed off from the room. That is correct. That's a ceramic glass. So we're getting a lot of radiant heat right through the glass itself. Right. And then the two liners going up the chimney? Yeah, one is for uh, bringing in outside air for combustion. The second tube is just your non-efficient hot air going back outside. And that's sort of the magic, right? Because this is sealed, we're not taking all that conditioned air from the room and sending it up the chimney. We're actually getting fresh air from the outside. Correct. Fresh air. That. Yep. Fresh air. Fresh cold air from outside. No furnace heated room air from inside. How efficient can they be? 70 to 82 percent efficient. Wow, a lot more efficient a lot than more, the old yes. fireplace. All right. Um, and you actually get to keep some of the ambiance. Um, it's not a real fire, but it looks pretty good, and they've come a long Correct. way. Correct, and there's a lot of different options in the gas insert. Nice. All right, so if I don't have a fireplace or a chimney going through the house? We have options for that. Good. So here is a gas zero clearance fireplace option. Mm -hmm. uh, this type of unit can be built into the room or on the outside of an existing exterior wall. It uh, doesn't require any type of masonry chimney or any of that. Um, it's a direct vent system which just runs through a vent pipe. So this. this is what we see outside? This would be on the outside in a horizontal termination. So yes. not going above the roof line necessarily, just right out the back wall? Right out the back, yes. Interesting. All right. So here are some freestanding stove options. Uh, these are typically a sealed unit as well where they have a sealed glass. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just a, with a stove, you kind of just put it down on the floor as long as it's hardwood floor or tile or yeah. some type of non-combustible. Uh, and then we run a, some type of flue system off of it. Some can shoot straight out the back, but more often we have to run a couple feet up and then straight out at a minimum. So here we don't need an existing chimney or firebox. In fact, we don't have to build anything. We don't have to build anything, no. Nope. You're in and out and you're done in a half hour. That's correct, yeah. Huh. So uh, I think of these as wood burning. You're saying this one's gas. Is this sealed for efficiency? These are sealed units, yep. So and again, we're about 70 to 80% efficient. Very yep. nice. Um, and is it being blown out the flue? It is it... not a power vent system. It's gravity fed. So this will work in a power outage? This will work also in a power outage, yes. And in terms of heat, what are we talking about? Is this going to heat a room, heat a house? Yes. It's heating a space, typically, yes. It's kind of heat where you live. Mm. So put it into a room that you're going to use very often that may have a chill to it, typically. Right. And you can have that ambiance of a fire with a freestanding stove. Great. So Kevin here is a pellet stove. This is another type of stove that uh, is out there. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a compressed sawdust, basically, that yeah. you're holding. Uh, that type of fuel would go into a hopper in a pellet appliance. Pellet appliances use electricity to run every phase of them. There's a convection and a combustion blower and also the auger, and here's a sample of that. So the auger obviously feeds it, uses electricity. The convection blower is what, taking the heat from the stove and pushing it into the room? Into the room, yes. And the combustion blower is pushing it out the flue? Correct, so it's a power vent system in this case, yes. Okay. And so what do you think of these? I think the pellet appliance is a good alternative to somebody that's burning wood currently or is desiring to burn wood at this point. It comes in a bag, so you can just reload the hopper in mm -hmm. the system. 
Um, it's a little bit softer heat than a wood burning appliance would be. A wood burning appliance you load, walk away from, so you have excessive heat and then no heat. Right. Okay. Pellet appliance, you can control it by feed rate, right. which allows you to have different heat values. And if you're not burning wood already, what if I've got gas? Stick with gas. Really? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Gas is going to be already piped into the residence. Mm. Yeah, why add another There's fuel? Many more looks that you can accomplish. Yeah, and as you told us, those will, some of those will continue to run in a power outage where this won't. That is correct, yep. So here are some electric fireplace or electric fireplace insert options that we could do. Uh, this would be a mantle that you can just put right up against the wall if you desire. No venting needed, just plug it right into an existing outlet. Mm -hmm. We can gain heat from these as well if you desire. Come on, yep. electric really? Electric, yep. Really? Very big category, yes. It's a big you, category? Very big category, yeah. Who, who's behind these it things? It becomes a piece of furniture in the space as well. Uh, townhome owners, apartment owners, uh, condos. Huh, all right. Yeah. I get that. You can't change something on the exterior. Yeah. Yep. If you have a condo, they're not going to let you put it in a fireplace. You can't go through the walls. Correct, yeah. Renter might take it with them. Yes, yep. No you kidding. You can travel with and you say it does throw some heat? It does throw some heat. All, almost all of them have some type of heating element built into them. You can run it with just the fire going or you can run it with the heat going as well. So like a space heat? Exactly, space like a space heater. heater. Yep. And you literally just plug these things in? Yes, space heater with a look though. Right. You have a fire look gotcha. to this. Yep. And if you want a blue fire, you got blue fire? You have a blue fire, yep. You can actually wall mount that version as well. <laughs> Terrific. There's some that you build into a wall or build maybe into a masonry fireplace opening, yep. such as these. Okay, so an option for everybody. An option for everybody. Right. Good information, Alan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much appreciate it.